But uh, we are talking now about appearance and behavior. The waiter should have clean uniform, proper haircut, and a name tag. Appearance matter. If you want to be a professional, if you want to make really good money, how do you look matters a lot. So make sure you look amazing. The employee speech should be clear, no jargons, no slang, and of course, your English or whatever language you're speaking has to be fully understood. <clears throat> The waiter should engage the guest in a well-paced, natural, friendly, and interested manner. <laughs> I have managers that tell the waiters, you're not allowed to talk to guests. That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. All right? We need to establish this personal relationship, guest-waiter. If we want the guests to feel like really they are at home, at ease, and they're enjoying, we have to create this. So it's very important that you exchange few words with the guest and make it personal. All right. The conversation has to be natural, has to be friendly. All right. Do not impose yourself on the guest. If the waiter knows the name of the guest, we should use it during the service without overusing it. Not every time you go to Mr. Adam, Mr. Adam, Mr. Adam, Mr. Adam. No. Use the name once, twice. It's perfect. The guest knows that you are taking care in a personal manner of them. <clears throat> the waiter should display a high level of confidence in the process of carrying out her or his duties. Now, why they want that? Once a guest see a confident waiter, they know they are in good hands. And that's why this step is written in the service protocol. You gotta be in confidence, be in positivity. It's very important. We should strive to provide service that is anticipatory, intuitive, and be able to adapt to meet the guest needs. I already talked about anticipating guest needs many times. I cannot overstate how important that is. If you are able to anticipate guest needs and act before even the guests think about it or you know wave his hand to ask you about it you will create magic if possible personalize the interaction in some way and engage the guests as an individual true like i said the guests come from different countries they have different religions different habits Make sure that you are personalizing every interaction. Don't use the same words and the same conversation at every table because the guests listen. Table one, listen what you're saying to table two. Trust me. Oh my God. They listen. They know. <clears throat> in front of the guests, the team should collaborate seamlessly to ensure service is organized and professional without being intrusive or repetitive. That's why it's important that everybody's on the same page. When you're working in fine dining, you're going to have a backup waiter, you're going to have a busboy, you're going to have a full trainers. You got to work as a team and everybody should know what's next. You don't need to talk to your backup waiter. Hey, now it's time to bring the, the uh, to set up the table for the, you know, for the, for the dinner because the guests order soup, get a, order salad or the main course or the uh, steak. Now, the backup waiter is the one that has to prepare the silverware. If this guest has a steak, you got to put a steak knife. If this guest had a soup, you got to pull the soup. If they have no appetizers, you have to remove the, 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 the appetizer silverware. <clears throat> and that has to happen not by talking and, and, and exchanging long conversation, just with a nick, hop, ready to prepare the table. You got the, the written check. He can just see which seat has salad, which seat has soup, which seat has steak and prepare the table without even, you know, asking question or whatever. So that's what seamless service means. And it's absolutely important. A waiter should actively listen, keep an eye contact and give the guests their undivided attention. <clears throat> now, in fine dining. The head waiter, the station waiter, usually never leave the station. You keep an eye contact with the guest 
100% of the time. 100% of the time. And if you have to leave, make sure that your backup waiter is right there. All right? And he's standing in front of the guests and keeping eye contact with them 100% of the time. At all times, the waiters should maintain alert postures and respect the guest presence. Guest-centric approach to anything. Guest-centric approach means that on the back of your head, you always keep in mind that the guests are watching you, they hear you, and your gesticulations or words or movements or whatever you do in affect their experience so at all times make sure that you postures and your tone and your words are proper and respectful to the guest the waiter should display self-control and empathy in challenging interactions and offer a suitable resolution for the guests we're going to talk about handling guest complaints <coughs> in details but um, now we deal with challenging situations all the time in the restaurant. Remain professional, remain calm, be resourceful, offer solutions, and move on implementing those solutions once the guest has chosen one of them. All staff have to offer sincere farewell at the end of the dinner and show appreciation. Do not think that it's too much to tell the guests and every guest, thank you for coming, have a nice evening, we would like to see you back. No. If a guest leaves the restaurant and is passing by you, make sure you wish them at least to have a nice evening every single one that doesn't mean that you see somebody's leaving a restaurant from from station one and you're let's say you're a waiter for station two and you run to tell them have a nice evening because you are somewhere behind the bar no but if they pass by you make sure you stop for a second whatever you do and just wish them have a nice evening now if this is your your guest from your station leaving and you're busy at the bar then you should go to the to the door or whatever uh, just to to stand by and wish the guests wonderful evening to thank them for their business and to welcome them back this is your responsibility because they were your guests they were sitting on your table